YouTube, your boy SO 8787 Productions. Just wanted to do a quick rundown on how I edit music videos in Final Cut Pro X. Uh, I think I'm running version 10.2.2, if I'm not mistaken. I'm um, already got it loaded up, so you open up Final Cut. First thing I do is create a new library by going to File, New Library, and naming it. After that, I create a new project, go to File, New, Project, name it. Now after I do that, it's time to import your, your video file. So you go to File, Import Media, and locate wherever you put your, your files at. Uh, so I click on the folder. These are all the files. You could select them manually if you know you got files that you don't want to import. But I just import everything and I'll sort through it as I go. So I click on the folder, leave files in place, uh, create proxy media. Um, you could create optimized media as well if your computer can't handle the native files of your camera. It transcodes it into a file type that the computer could read a little better you know so mine can handle the gh4 files pretty well so i don't create optimize because it just takes up space i'm not going to use it so create proxy import selected all right so after you do that make sure you go up to view and switch it to proxy and you're going to see that it's missing um the proxy files but if you look down here final cut is rendering in the background and creating the proxy files from your, your video files so just give it some time to do that you can also hit um I think Apple 9 and see what it's doing make sure that it's moving I already had this session done already pretty much so I'm gonna just switch over to that alright now once it's done um importing all the files and transcoding them to proxies alright so once that's done um importing all the files as you can see, I come here and right click new keyword collection, or you could go up to file, new keyword collection. Um, and I do this in order to separate and organize the file so I know where everything is at. I could just go straight to what I'm looking for when I'm looking for it. So let's say I do like slow mo B roll, scroll through all my files. Alright, that's B-roll. Actually, no, that's 4K B-roll, so let me find some slow move. Alright, so here. Slow-mo B-roll. Drag it over here. Drop it. Go to the next file. Slow-mo B-roll. Boom. Drag it over here. Drop it. Then I'll make another keyword collection for like performance scenes or whatever. So I go through. Right, this performance scene has the music in it. Drag it over here, drop it. Go to the next one. Performance scene you already know because it has the audio in it. So boom, drop it over here. And I'll go through and do this until I'm completely done. Everything is separated. Um, if it's multiple locations, then I'll separate it by location maybe like the b-rolls and stuff but all the performance scenes i drop into one keyword collection tab and after that i import the music in and drop it into the same tab as the uh the, the performance scenes and the reason i do that is because i edit with a multi-cam clip it just makes it quicker that's one of the main reasons I haven't really moved over to Premiere Pro yet. I'm not sure if you could do it over there. I'm pretty sure you can, but I pretty much got it down packed over here in Final Cut. So I just use it. So what you do after you have all the performance scenes, scroll through, make sure you got everything. So all the performance scenes. and I got the, the track inside the same tab you're gonna highlight everything right click new multi-cam clip name it make sure it's going to the correct event 
which should be the date that you created the project uh, make sure this is camera angle automatic automatic make sure you have use audio for synchronization checked make sure it's starting at zero make sure this is selected make sure this is selected after that boom hit OK and it's gonna do its thing now the best way to make this work make sure your audio is clear like and make sure it's loud make sure it's not distorted make sure um the artist is rapping along to it out loud not lip syncing or nothing like that because it'll make it so much easier for the program to make everything sync up if the music is loud and on point all right so once it does that it's gonna give you the multi-cam clip over here in your browser you're gonna highlight it drag it down and what I like to do is I like to go into it, just double click and go through the files to make sure everything's synced up and that I don't have to adjust it left or right for it to sync up with the music. So what you can do is just drag the song all the way up and go through the clip. So make sure the speaker is highlighted on the um, on the audio track. So make sure the speaker and the monitor is um, highlighted on the first clip. Go through. I'm from the city where them niggas don't play. in sync drop down to the next one cut this speaker off yo all right that's good drop down to the next one all right that's good good i mean so you get the point just make sure everything is lined up everything is good with the music and after that what i do is actually drag this clip all the way down now just hit v to disable it and the reason i do that is because i don't want none of the chops to affect the music i like the music to be locked down by itself so i'll drag the actual song from the browser into the timeline and drop it there and it should be on point All right, cool. So now, in order to see all the performance scene angles that you um, dropped into this multi-cam clip, you go up to View, Show Angles, and you can show as many as 16 if you have that many clips. Make sure you transcode and proxy because if you don't, this is not going to work at all. Like, it's going to be slow and laggy that's not even gonna be able to edit it so make sure you have it in proxy make sure you transcode it in proxy but make sure you have the film strip highlighted and nothing else and go through let the song play Alright, so you get, the, you get the point of it. And how I'm changing the scenes right now is with the um, the numerical pad on the keyboard. And pretty much the numbers coincide with the, um, the clip. So if you want to use angle 1, you hit the number 1. If you want to use angle 5, you hit the number 5. If you want to hit 6, 6, you want to jump back to 2, jump back to 2. So that's one way you could do it. It makes it easier to get your cuts on beat because you're just like following along with it and boom, hit it on the clap, hit it on the drum. If you don't want to do it with a numerical pad, then you can always drop and get the blade or you can just hit B to select the blade and add the drum. Now, 
while. Sometimes you might not hit on the beat directly, so I like to go through. And after I get like the, the groove and how I want my clips, I like to go through, just make sure everything is on point. So I'll make it a little bigger. And use the, uh, the arrows to scrub through the track. That's the snare hit, so I'll come up here. I'll take the uh, trim tool or just hit T and bring it right in between the two clips and just drag it over to it hits on that snare so the transition to be smooth is right on beat so, that one's a little off so I'll take it boom move it looks a little slow maybe so, we're going to drag it over here. So the next step after you've went through and chopped up your performance scenes, um, added in your B-rolls, put your effects in, your transitions, your dissolves, put your text in, the next step for me would be to go in and color grade it. I'm not going to do it on this video, but if you guys want me to make another video showing how I went about color grading this particular video, uh, drop a comment below. If you have any feedback, let me know. Any questions, let me know. I'll answer whatever. Um, like, subscribe if you found this useful or helpful in any way. I'm going to try to do more tutorials and more behind the scenes stuff. I'm not shooting as much as I would like to, but whenever I do get a shoot, I will try to get the behind the scenes going and try to get you guys some more content. So let me know if you guys liked it. It's my first time, so uh, just give me some feedback. Thanks.